What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at another Gigapan. But wait until you see these funky-looking rocks that are on these scarps, hillsides, buttes. They can call it what they want. To me, they're nothing of the sort. These are structures, and at the very least, they are these mountains and hills, but there's stuff built on top that they're not showing us. Now, I'm only going to show so many things that interested me. There's going to be a ton more. You guys see something? Drop a timestamp and then tell us what you've seen. Let's just jump right into it. All right, here it is right here, and you can see it's from Neville Thompson, uh, and it was uploaded the 13th of August, 2021, and he last updated on the 13th as well. There's a lot of crazy things in there, folks. You know, uh, Neville has asked me before, why don't you do, like, do some anomaly hunting in these? Well, because these are the finished product. Now, you might say, what do you mean the finished product, Chris? Well, that means everything in this photo has been completely taken out and made it really smooth, high quality photo. And of course, these are all stitched together by Neville. So thank you, Neville, for that. Um, but to me, I would rather use the low res because it shows a couple things. One, it's not 100% manipulated because it is more raw and it's very small photos. So of course, you zoom in, they break apart. But you can also find the anomalies and the manipulation done a lot easier with the low res. That's the reason why I go with them. And I have told him that because he's like, dude, he kind of laughed. Why are you using the low res when you could be using these? Because these are garbage. However, there are things that they still forget to take out of these photos. And we're going to see that right now. So let's just have a peek and let's just see what we can find. Now, again, some of these are things he's found or somebody else has found. So I don't take credit for this. Some rather interesting little tidbits, if you will. It's kind of funky looking, isn't it? Really odd. Again, anything in these squares is not mine. I do not take credit for this. This is actually a pretty good shape in here. Look at the way that thing looks. What I'm going to concentrate on most is the one in the middle right here. It is now the middle. And the one over on the right. First, I find this really odd because of the point of this. I'm going to call it a peninsula sticking out of this because you can see how it sticks out the furthest, at least in this area. And what I find interesting is just the cutouts in the air. Again, folks, I don't believe that this is hills or anything, but let's say that I'm wrong. I believe that this sky is not real. And there could be structures on top of these around here. And this is the reason why you see more piles of rocks in certain areas. Some areas you do not, because there may be a structure here and they made it all look like sky, blocking it completely out. Here's some more interesting objects, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to go one click in and you can see that. This piece on the left hand side from the center of this box. And then we get this object right here, objects. I like the shape of this. They kind of weigh the edge. But look at the edge inside it, the smaller one. It literally echoes the outer one. What's that tell you? That to me tells me that's intelligently made. See that? See a little bit clearer when you back out? I'm not sure why he didn't try to sharpen this up a bit. Look at this in the bottom of here. Find that pretty interesting. This right here. Look at these. This nice straight edge coming down vertically. Comes down over here. Supposedly in the shade and the sun. You can see that. Take a peek over here. Now, folks, look at this. Like this object right here. It almost looks like the plier that you can use when you take out like a hot uh, piece of metal out of like a furnace, right? You like you got these like big, or well, even the ones they use for ice blocks, right? They use them. You can see right here, I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. Looks like almost like the handle, part of the handle, another part of the handle. And then it has what look like me, the jaws that open up, right? Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying it has that weird look to it. What I find interesting, and I've said this many, many a times, is that look at part of it's tan. The other part of it's like a light gray. And the other one's almost hidden. And you can see the line of it. It looks like a darker gray. Scoot it over here to the right. Look at all that is right here. Look at these interesting shapes here. We even have a cutout right here. Nice 90 degree angle. Back out a hair bit, so it clears it up a little bit. 
And folks, like I say in all my videos, have your uh, magnifier handy because you're probably going to need it. Check out this object right here. I'll put it right smack dab in the middle of the screen. Look, it's kind of square or like a rectangular piece and has what looks like these uniformed black oval openings or details in it. There's more here. Very faint. Find that kind of odd. Look at us all at the top edge here. What is going on here? Look at this. All under here. I'll put it right here in the middle. Check that out. Different shape rocks right here. Not rocks. Look at this. I'm going to back out a notch. Check them out. Like I said, folks, I really wish you would have cleared this up. You know, it's just so blurry to me. I don't, I don't understand that. These right here. Look at these weird rocks. I'll put it right in the center of the screen. Check this one out. What is going on there? Go out a notch. The one behind it. Almost looks like it has this weird oval cut out or detail or whatever that may be. Back out a little bit. This rock right here has a kind of almost stretched out arch to it, if you will. Oh, there's so much in here, guys. It's And like I said, I'm not going to cover them all because it would be a three-hour video. And not too many people want to see a three-hour video. 30 minutes you can get away with, but mm, that many, not quite sure. Of course, you guys can always tell me what you think. What do you like, the shorter ones, the longer ones, in between? You know, I like this white object sitting in this, like, almost squared off area. See that right there? Nice 90 degree angle right there. White piece inside this area, shadowed area. Now, he's got a couple pieces here. It looks like there's a couple points of pieces protruding out here, right here. Pretty interesting. Something else right here. I'm not sure what to make it is. This is what I find interesting. They will see things like this, and I'm not sure what he's seeing in here, but totally not see this. I mean, what are we seeing here? Look at this. I'm not sure what to make of that. But it's white in the back here. This line right here on the right, as well as the left, they go to the back. Then it looks like it's kind of got like a, almost like a framed white area around it. I'm not sure how to ex explain that. Objects that are the same color as the sand. Yeah. That's how you know they're, they're messing with it. They're blurring stuff. They're doing coloration over this stuff. Look at this so-called flat rock. Right there. Got this nice angled side, comes straight over here in the front and does the same thing on the other side. You can see it just barely. The right side does the same thing. But the gray right here, I believe, is the actual color of the piece. Check that out. Crazy stuff here, folks. Not sure what he's seeing in here. Maybe this design type thing could very well be, right? All to the top of this edge. I'll zoom in and then back back out. All right here. Like I said, folks, just the weird shapes of these so-called rocks. Come on. This has this kind of smooth corner. Looks like a piece coming straight down. See that? Right in the middle of the screen. Look at this mess. Let me go over to this area. Now, I don't mean to make you guys kind of like motion sickness here, but check this area out right back here. I find this pretty interesting. Just this alone shows what looks like parts in it. Like this junk, this like almost like this should have been straight here on the left, but it's actually bent. All these different weird shapes. You can see this right here looks like it's rounded and I'll put it in this right in the middle. Around it right here, you can see the circular shape and it comes down. Looks like it goes around this piece sticking out. This gray piece right here almost looks oval. Another whiter piece. Folks, look at this. That's rocks? I don't think so. Let me just back out a little bit. You can have a better look. It's a little clearer as far as I'm concerned. Well, look at this piece right here. I just noticed this. Sticking straight out. 
And look just underneath it, there is an actual, what looks like a square underneath it, like a cutout. Like this thing is sticking out of something, right? Check that out. On the top here. Nice squares. Well, look like almost like bent metal, at least in my eyes. This right here. Nice straight lines. You got vertical as well as horizontal lines. Just happened to be in this one part of this photo, folks. Like, look at that. Out of nowhere. Here. You can see what looks like squares. Look closely. I'm going to put it in the middle of the screen. Squares, straight lines. This one right here. Straight line in the middle. There's another faint one just underneath it. Other straight lines. And look at the direction they're all running in. It's not just random rocks thrown places. This is something that they literally covered up. You can see it all across the top here. You can see it inside right in this area again in the middle. It's just sand, folks. That's all. No, it's just a filler to make it look like this is much further away than it really is. And I don't believe that it is, to be truthful with you. These weird, it looks like almost like walls type thing. Or what's left of it. Folks, there's so much to see. If you found something crazy in here, drop a timestamp with what you think you found or what something may look like to you. You know, again, it's pure speculation. We really can't tell what these things are, but we can tell the difference uh, between what looks natural and not so natural. Sometimes we could be 50 50. Hmm, not quite sure, right? And there you go, folks. Folks, every time I see something like this, it looks like something's been decimated, something that's been destroyed. How do we know that fake sky is not covering up structures that are on the top and they're literally crumpled down? Again, this could have been a coastline for like a small lake. And that, that was all filled in with water at one time. We don't know. And they could be totally blocking out structures that are sitting along. This would have been a lakeside or some kind of uh, inlet to a body of water. We don't know. It could have been on top. They're just crumpled down. We don't see them. Because, so we really don't know. But it's kind of odd that you see like, like, like a large group of rocks in one area. The rest of the area seems okay. Hmm. It's almost like something's at the top of that and it's been falling down. I personally don't believe that these are hills at all. I think they're structures. But as always, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And please like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, got some more moon as well as more Mars coming up. So stay tuned. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.